the Maasai Mara in Kenya. Welcome to the Sunset Safari. My name is Brent Leo Smith. I have Dangerous Dave. And you might wonder, why are you so nervous, Impala? Well, remember, this is live, so we can't guess what's going to happen next. But Well, we can guess, but we can never predict 100%. So this morning, just after drive, we happened to find a beautiful female cheetah. And I found out she is one of Kenya's daughters. And we found her again. She's not in the best spot. And she was showing interest in how we found her. As I noticed those impala staring quite. Oh, well, actually, it was the topi that gave her away. Um, he was staring into the grass, and uh, we just managed to spot her head. And now she's laying down. Not the best view. There we are. Dad says we've got tail flicking, but you have to believe us. That is a female cheetah. Um, so, as far as I know, her name at the moment, she hasn't been named officially, is Kakenya's daughter. Now, if I remember correctly, Kakenya means uh, the early dawn or beautiful dawn in Swahili. But obviously that's her mother's name, and her mother resides further to the south and west, uh, or east of us, sorry, towards uh, the Tanzanian border. So obviously she's become independent, and she's moved into an area that they're not normally a lot of cheetah. Uh, she's up. Oh, yay. Exciting times. And uh, there's a, a very good reason that there's not a lot of cheetah in this particular area, and that is because of the high density of lions and hyenas. This is on the edge of the North Clans territory. And uh, as I said this morning, there are over 90 or 18, close to 90 individuals in that clan of hyenas. There she is, isn't she gorgeous? Now, you have to believe us because she stood up. She is just not uh, a tail flicking in the long grass. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you want to ask us any questions about this gorgeous girl and uh, what she might get up to on the Sunset Safari. And she looked like she had had a meal when we saw her earlier today. And um, I'm, I'm wondering, uh, she is looking quite intently at those impala. And there is a bit of long grass. Uh, to provide her a bit of cover and that should help her in her hunting and uh, I think she'd prefer to find some Tommies but I mean, maybe she's eaten or chased all the Tommies that are normally around here and of course Tommies is a Thompson's gazelle oh she's beautiful yeah she's sneaking higher up onto the termite mound just to give herself a good view. Now, from that pose, it seems she's given up on the Impala, so she's looking back towards uh, the clan lands, as I call them, and there tend to be a few more Tommies there. Well, no, she is looking back towards the north now. Well, hi, Valerie. Daddy, I'm also very excited to see Cheetah in the Mara. Now, this is the Cheetah we've probably spent the most amount of time with. Uh, we've seen her fail on about three or four hunts now, and uh, we're hoping that our patience is going to pay off and we will get to see her successfully uh, catch something. Well, not so happy for if you're a Thompson's Gazelle, but very happy if you're a Cheetah. Now, of course, she's got to be quite quick in, in, in terms of silencing that Gazelle in this area. As I said, there's 80-odd hyenas there. That call this particular area home so she better be careful if she doesn't want to lose her meal now the reason we are not closer to her at the moment uh, this is in what we call a high use zone so we don't off-road here and she's right on the edge of a very sticky marsh and I said it did rain last night so we have to be a little careful and I'm quite sure she's gonna move well, I don't know which way she's going to move, but either way she moves is going to be fine for us. And we should be able to get a little bit closer to her. Now, hello David. David is wondering, is Impala a cheetah's main prey in the Mara? It is not at all, David. It is actually the Thompson's gazelle. Um, as we affectionately call them, Tommies. Uh, they are a cheetah's main prey in this part of the world. There we go. The Impala have spotted her. You can just hear them snorting in the distance. Pfft. 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 Uh, she is quite a young female. 
recently independent. So she's still learning the ropes of being out on her own. Now I'm going to stay right with her and see what she might get up to next. But while she's resting atop a termite mound, we're going to zoom all the way back to South Africa. And Tristan, who's with a spiral horned, I don't know.